The Gift of Ramadan by Rabia York Lambert. A rainbow of color winked at Sophia as she handed the Ramadan lights to her mama. These were her favorite decorations because they made her feel as though a special guest was coming. Grandma raised an eyebrow. Pretty, she said. Pretty and sparkly, just like the heart of a person who fasts. Sophia stopped twirling. Really? she asked. Sophia loved sparkles, glitters, stars. Her new ring. It was a gift from Grandma for her birthday last month. Grandma stopped rocking. Really? Sophia knew that fasting was to not eat or drink from sun up to sundown. Sophia loved food, but she also loved sparkles. She turned to her mama. When does Ramadan begin? Mama opened the curtain. Adam, Sophia's little brother, pointed to the sky. Moon, he said. That's right. Mama answered. See how thin it is. Sophia nodded. That's the crescent moon, the beginning of a new month. Tomorrow is the first day of fasting. Count me in, Sophia grinned. Mama woke Sophia up when it was so early. Not even the sun was awake. Time for suhoor, she sang. Sophia sat down to a breakfast of eggs, fruit and dad's pancakes. But Sophia could barely keep her eyes open. You have to eat, Grandma told her. It will chase away the hungries. Sophia reached for a pancake. But... A few minutes later. Time is up, Dad said. They got up from the table and unrolled the prayer rugs, one by one. Sophia tried her best to stay awake, but the moment her head touched the ground, sleep came over her. Mama reached forward to nudge her, but Grandma waved her finger to say, let her sleep. When Sophia woke for the second time, it was almost noon. Her tummy was empty and her throat was dry. But even drinking water was against the rule. So Sophia decided to stay busy. She read for a while. She organized the clothes in her closet from least to most sparkly. And then she drew. But her tummy began to gurgle louder and louder. Shh, Sophia said, I'm drawing. She glanced down at her paper. Yikes, she said, I've got to get out of here. Oh my God, what did she draw? <laughs> All the food items. Sophia found Adam in front of the TV. In his hands was a humongous cookie. He waved it in front of her face and sang, Me, cookie, eat, yummy, yum, yum. Sophia's tummy roared. The cookie looked delicious. Please stop, she said. But Adam kept singing. Sophia clenched her hands. She bit her lip. She wanted to yell. Instead, she ran out of the room. Her brother chased her. Oops. Adam was fast, but Sophia was faster. Sophia was so fast, she ran out of breath. She needed to hide. Adam was still looking for her. Sophia turned on the light. Oh no, she thought. I have really got to get out of here. But she couldn't. Adam was stamping by, still singing that song. Me, cookie, eat, yummy, yum, yum. She plugged her ears. She closed her eyes. Sophia took a deep breath. And the scent of chocolate filled her nose. What is this? asked Grandma. Sophia's eyes drifted to the floor. I got too hungry. There, there, my love. No one expects you to fast for an entire day. Grandma wrapped Sophia in a big hug. There's always tomorrow and the day after and the next. You have a full month to keep trying. Sophia twisted her ring. She wiped away her tears. 
But I wanted to feel sparkly now, she said. You are sparkly, Grandma said. I can see your sparkles, sparkles growing. Sophia shrugged. She didn't feel sparkly. And did you know, continued Grandma, there are other ways to celebrate Ramadan. Sophia thought about that. She knew. Mama read the Quran. Maybe it gave her head sparkles. But Sophia couldn't read it. Not on her own. And her dad was always sharing things with family, friends and strangers. He said that Ramadan was a time for charity. A special kind of sharing for those who need extra help. But Sophia didn't have any money. Sophia was about to give up when she glanced down at Grandma's hands. They were covered in flour. What are you making? she asked. Yummy food for our first iftar. That's it, Sophia said. If she couldn't fast, then at least she could help prepare dinner for those who did. And I am going to help. Sophia put on her apron and got to work. She tossed the salad, then she helped Grandma make five super sparkly pizzas. One for each member of the family. Sophia thought they were sparkly because they had extra cheese on them. Grandma thought it was the fresh parsley that made them shine. When the oven burst, Sophia jumped up from her chair. The pizzas were finally done. But when Grandma opened the oven, smoke billowed out. Oh no, Sophia frowned. The top three pizzas were perfect, but the bottom two were burnt to a crisp. Grandma plopped down. She looked exhausted. Iftar was just around the corner. Don't worry, Grandma, said Sophia. I've got this. Really? asked Grandma. Really, said Sophia. Sophia set the table. She gave each person one big bowl of soup and one salad. She placed a pitcher of water and a bowl of dates on the table. Then she asked Grandma to cut up the three perfect pizzas. Tiny slices were better than none. Sophia's family gathered around the table. They raised their hands and offered thanks. Then they each drank water and ate a date. When there was only one slice of pizza left, Grandma insisted that Sophia take it. You have earned it. No, thanks. Sophia smiled. She didn't want any more. She didn't need any more. Her heart was wonderfully full. So this is the end of this book.